windy for this right now. Hey friends, Dustin here. If you're watching the Life Lynn channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, I'm back. Yes, I know. We needed more content, but six weeks of brutal wind every single day. We're talking 60 mile per hour plus. In some cases, up to 82 mile per hour. Gusts of wind blowing right through here. Couldn't shoot any content outside. And actually the shop was so loud because the wind was blowing so hard against these giant walls that I couldn't even record in here. Pretty brutal, but we're back. And all this time inside gave me an idea. It's out there. See, it's still windy today, actually. But uh, considering this is like a 20 mile per hour breeze compared to 60, I'll take it. Let me show you something real quick. In my pile of junk, this giant aluminum awning tube. What am I doing with an awning? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing with this awning. Right here is this 1989 Ford Mustang. I believe it's an 89. I don't even know. I forget what it is. Either way, you guys might remember this car from a few months back. I picked this thing up for just a few hundred dollars. I was going to turn it into a little weekend drag racing car, little street car, fun on the cheap kind of thing. But the guy who sold it to me wasn't there when I picked it up, even though he said he was going to be. So his cousin helped me load up the car and said, he'll mail you the title tomorrow. Yeah, nope, shouldn't have done that. No title ever showed up. He claimed he mailed it. And now I haven't heard from him in months. So I do not have a title for this car, which means it's pretty useless as a street car. Now I could still turn it into a drag car, but I decided to take that engine and well, we're putting it in the Winnebago. More on that coming soon. So now I have a shell of a Ford Mustang sitting here. Pretty much all stripped out. No engine, no transmission, not much of an interior left. That's just an empty shell. And it's incredibly light, which got me thinking with all the wind out here, even now with just a light breeze, wind towers cooking away in the background. What if I made a sail car? Introducing the new Ford Yacht Stang. Let's make it happen. I'm gonna be What could go wrong with this? This will be fine. So the car is going to work as the keel because it's so heavy on the bottom. And then our mast awning tube. I think I'm just going to mount right where the shifter center console goes right up through the roof. And maybe it'll fit in here. I don't know. We'll find out. Run some rigging down to the sides and the back or whatever. Probably lighten this thing up just a little bit more. Air up the tires to the max. Lube everything up so this thing rolls nice and easy. And uh, make some kind of sail. Not sure what we're gonna do for the sail yet, but I've got, uh, oh, I don't know, I got plenty of options. What is this? I don't, I don't even know in a boat, but I got a boat cover. Looks like I could use that. Perfect. Let's get into this. Well, there we go. Look at the pristine condition of this interior. It's got a lovely aroma too. Wish you guys could really smell this. Mmm. Oh. That factory headliner is mint. I mean, shame to rip that up. Maybe we'll take that out. So I might actually take the rear hatch off too. 
That way I can uh, run the running rigging for the sail back down here. Maybe put a seat in the back, you know, because you, you sail from the back of the boat usually. Unless you got a real fancy one. Then it just, how do you turn it? I don't know. It, maybe I'll make an extender for the steering wheel to bring it back here. Will it blow over in 80 mile per hour breeze? Yep, probably. Can't wait to test it out. Don't worry. Today is an anomaly. It'll get windy again. Okay, we can use this as the top of our mast. And we got a tube with some holes in it already. Run some wires out of that. Somewhere down here, we got to mount the boom, which, what am I going to use for a boom? I don't know, a 2 by 4 um, PVC, some roof flashing. I'll figure that out. Let's just focus on getting this standing up and mounted and see if it'll clear the shop door. Let's go. Well guys, a few days later, I ended up getting super sick, and I'm filming another video right now too, so we're way behind on video uploads. Nothing you can do when you're laying on the bathroom floor. Just happens. But the rain has stopped, and I feel pretty much better. We're back on the Yacht Stang, the world's most fuel-efficient Ford Mustang. And look at it, it's glorious. It really is. I got the mast in, it's all bolted down. Now, on a boat, the mast doesn't really have any load on it down here. The power from the wind is actually transferred through the stays, I believe they're called, uh, which is the metal rigging that'll come down from the top of the pole to the front, the sides, and the rear of the car. So that is what we're designing today. Behold, a thing of beauty. Homemade mast. Out of RV parts, mostly. This cabling has a load limit of about 400 pounds. I've got five of them, plus the mast, plus our uh, running rigging on here. So, I don't know, that might be enough strength for our sail. We'll find out. We've already got the running rigging run through my blocks. All the way down the mast. I found some coat hooks and I just flipped them upside down so that they uh, hold pressure from the cables. All that's in there. Then I got all my excess cable laying out here because that's all the stuff that's gonna have to be bolted to the front and back of the yacht stang. Now that it's, you know, 10 times heavier, this ought to be a lot of fun. Wish me luck. Well, the wind blew the camera over. So I'm not sure what you saw, but that was a struggle. It's breezy and that's heavy and, you know, 15 feet in the air. How tall is this thing? You have to watch out for power lines. Well, progress has been made. We got the mast up and all the rigging's on. 
this is normal. This is perfectly normal. Uh, let me show you what I got going on. I built a boom. Yeah, PVC is not that strong. Yeah, two by twos, those aren't that strong. But together with some bolts and hardware through them, you have a solid piece there. That's, that's nice. Uh, I got a block on there for the whatever thing on the back. Got a pin holding that in. Uh, we've got all our stays in. Stays are in, rigging's up. Worked out pretty good. Let me show you this. Even adjustable. Yeah, so we've got her tuned for the uh, port and starboard, I guess you'd call it, or left and right. I found a great mounting spot, which is the seatbelt bracket. Very strong. All right, those cables are on. Front all dialed in. We got some of our running rigging running up front here. We could run a, a spinnaker or a, a flag or something on that. That's nice. Check this out. All the rigging for the main sails up. All goes up there. It's another block. Everything's tied off. It's not a huge sail. It's uh, going to be 12 feet tall and 4 feet wide. So I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to move this uh, however many thousand pound car. But I also didn't want to blow over. Because gravel hurts more than water. That's, that's basically what I'm getting at with that. And uh, yeah. So it might be a little underpowered, but... Uh, Maybe it won't blow over, which is cool. Now this project should have taken two or three days, but with crazy weather and my sickness that knocked me on my knees, two, three weeks now, I, you know, it's fine. You guys are getting the video, so <laughs> I hope you appreciate all the work I put in for this thing. Also, if you guys love the channel and want to support us directly, we are building um, the world's fastest motorhome right now and the yacht staying which hasn't cost me much money but the world's fastest winnebago is going to cost quite a bit because the engine needs well a lot of money and performance parts to make it 800 to a thousand horsepower so if you guys want to help support us directly buy us some motor parts buy us some coffee buy us some motor oil that sort of thing head on over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash life i'm going to put the link down in the description Right there, you can support the channel directly, and that is awesome. And I thank every single person on there that's helped us so far. We are coming along quite well. So, hope you guys didn't mind the little break in content. Uh, the weather is getting nicer now. Hopefully, we're getting out of the crazy windy season where it was like 60, 70 mile per hour every single day. Okay, so my next part of this project is I need to design a sail. Now, I just measured how much room I have for the boom and the stays and stuff to clear a sail, and I need... A 12 foot tall sail, which is only four feet wide at the bottom, that's going to be attached to the boom. And I just happen to have a boat cover here for a boat I don't own. How convenient.
All right, progress is made. Sails are kind of made. I need to sew in some little rings on the corners so they don't tear out as soon as a breeze puffs at them. Got a little breeze puffing on them right now. They haven't come apart yet, but I'm I'm betting I tear them. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, Ford Mustang sailboat. Sail car. It's the yacht staying. Uh, I still don't have steering or brakes figured out. Brakes aren't actually working in this car. The parking brake kind of works when you pull the handle. Um, so I better take the sails down while it's next to the cars. Now, this was going to be one of those episodes that I was going to split up into two or three parts so you can see the build and then see if it sailed. But I really just want to do it all. See if we can get this thing going tomorrow. Hopefully we got a nice little 25 mile per hour wind like we have today. We'll lighten this thing up, get those sails fixed. I'll see you guys in the morning. And it's the next day. Welcome back. Yacht stings outside. Right now it is a beautiful day. Pretty much no wind out there. Wind towers, what do you tell me? Eh, kind of moving, one of them. Uh, so this afternoon we're supposed to have some, some higher winds, maybe 40 miles an hour. That would be ideal for the yacht sting, but it is still too heavy. So today we're gonna rip everything off of it. Doors, we don't need those. Why do you need doors on a yacht? Uh, maybe some of the glass. That whole front clip that's only held on by two bolts. Take that off. Let's just jump into it. Cue the montage. Well, that was interesting. We pulled several hundred pounds off this car. I've also aired up to the tires to the point of exploding. Might reduce our rolling resistance on this rig. At uh, no doors, no fenders, no bumper. Got the fuel tank out, a bunch of other random things. There's some plastic left in there, but uh, really nothing that weighs much. Oh, do you hear that? The breeze. She's picking up. For those of you that might be upset that we're destroying a perfectly good Ford Mustang Fox body, see, hold on, don't, don't worry. This car had no engine, no transmission, no drivetrain, no brakes. It was wrecked and had no title. So basically it was destined for the junkyard anyway. We're giving it a new life. And I'm selling these nice parts I took off. They're only slightly scratched. Don't know how that happened. So right now I'm waiting for the afternoon wind to come up. Should be here in a few hours. The breeze is already coming up a little bit. We're gonna push that thing right out on the road. I mean, on a closed course with a professional driver filmed in Mexico. We're gonna do that and see if we can sail it. Well, I might have overshot my wind goal. It's uh, blowing at 36 miles an hour right now. Uh, it's like windy now. <laughs> What's a good uh, speed to sail at? I think most people like to start taming the sails when it's around 25 miles an hour or so. This is a car. Has anybody done this before? This is a bad idea. Unfortunately, it's taken me a little bit of time to get to this point. I had an issue with the microphone on the camera. The wind was perfect about 30 minutes ago. Now it's a little strong. If 
I was out on a lake, I wouldn't be taking a sailboat out right now. Bad idea. It's not great off-road, but it actually works. I made a thing that works. Well guys, yesterday's wind was a little bit too brutal for sailing weather, that's for sure. Couldn't even get both sails up all the way. Couldn't even get one sail up all the way. It just flapped us down the road, which is not safe. That was a good way to break stuff. Well, today, it's breezy. But uh, I think the breeze is staying around 30 miles an hour. Yesterday, we were hitting 40, 45. Way too much. So I'm going to bring the yacht staying up next to the garden down here. See if we can't sail all the way down the driveway. Around the bend down there. And then off onto that road in the distance there with all the telephone poles. And see how far we can get down the road. Beautiful day for a sail. I've got the GoPro mounted to the back of the car in super wide view mode. So hopefully you guys can see a lot of what I can see. And um, yeah, enjoy the ride. Looks lovely. Nice little puff. There we go. Come on. All right, sails up. Brakes off. We make our first turn here. Oh, doesn't like the turn. Round in the second bend. Trying to get away from all the buildings. It's making a lot of really rough air right here. The second bend's a little harder. And we're running out of wind. Okay, second bend. Turn it out on the highway. Kind of sounds like one of my wheels. Might not be bolted on. Hey, we're cruising down the road. Pretty good too. What people are saying right now, driving on the highway over there, Get the sails out. There's an insider view here, right here holding the wheel with the sails up, and uh, the wind, the wind's dying off. Come on, yacht stay! Forward ho! Traveling through water might be a little bit better, but we are going off the road. It really sounds like one of my wheels is about to fall off. 
I guess I never checked the lug nuts because, you know, it doesn't have an engine. We're losing knots. Still, <laughs> quite the epic thing to behold. Friends, I introduce to you the world's first yacht stang, a wind-powered 1989 Ford Mustang Fox body. And it actually works. Not great, but it works. If I did some research on how sails actually function, I think I could get a little bit better. Maybe lighten the car up a hair bit more. Friends, I want to thank you guys for coming on this adventure with me today. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you want to, that would be cool. I'd appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed our content, consider sharing it. Get some other people involved. Our channel is still pretty small and well, I'm making these videos for you guys. Otherwise, I'd just be having fun without shooting video and you guys never see it. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.